Good day and welcome to our short and simple explanation of uh, how to fix you might not have permission to use this network resource specifically when trying to connect to a network share using your Microsoft account. So let me explain what that means. I have a theater in my basement and if I try to get to it right now, it's called theater four because it's a fourth one. And let's, uh, if I try to get off to an administrative share, so let's go off to the, uh, the C drive. We'll say, we'll keep it simple. So I'll type in Microsoft account. In my case, it's calgarytech at yahoo.com. I'll enter my password and it's going to bomb out. There it is, it just bombed. Okay, so solution is to remote off to that machine or get to it some way. You can physically go to it, I suppose, if you wish. Okay, so now I'm on my remote machine. You can see it's cleverly labeled Theater 4. All I need to do is go to the local security policy. But you could do this through a registry hack or just run the GUI. So just run the GUI. Local security policy, click start, type local, local security policy. In here, what you want to do is expand local policies. That's this guy right here. Then down to security options. And if this isn't sorted alphabetically, which it often isn't, you're going to want to sort it alphabetically. See the little carrot at the top here. What we're looking for is user access control, run administrators, this one right here, run administrators, run all administrators in approval uh, mode. So let's click on that, select disabled. Um, we need to change that to disabled and look and see what it says for the explanation. This policy setting controls the behavior of all UAC policy settings for the computer. If you change this policy, you must restart. The options are enabled. Admin approval mode is enabled. This policy must be enabled and related to UAC policy settings, related <laughs> UAC policy settings must also be set appropriately to allow the built-in administrator account and all other user accounts who are members of the administrator's group to run in admin mode. And of course, disabled is disabled. So that's, uh, we need that set to disabled. Now I'm going to suggest another change that likely isn't required given that we've made this change, but lots of people say it helps. So what we'll do is I'll show it to you because you're here anyway. If you don't want to do this, don't, but let's just find it. This one right here, network access, do not allow anonymous enumeration of SAM accounts and shares. You want to make sure that that's set to disabled. Okay. And uh, what that does is strip out a SID, which is a unique identifier. Um, and it, you can read this if you wish, but it boils down to for some people, especially with older versions of Windows 10, this single setting seems to resolve the problem. For me, I'm running Windows 10 build 2004H2, which if you don't understand the nomenclature means 20 is the year 20, 04 is the fourth month, so that's 2004, and H2 is the fall, half two. That's the fall update. So basically that's what I'm running. I'm running the uh, the fall update. And as I said, with these newer builds, you seem to need to run the run all administrators in approval mode it needs to be set to disabled. That seems to be what's required here. Okay, so uh, now for this to take effect, you need to restart. So I'll do that. Start click, right click, restart. That of course is on the remote computer. That of course is on the machine we're trying to connect to. We'll give it a minute to cycle and we'll be right back. All right, it's been a minute. Let's uh, let's see how that goes. So I'm going to go now to theater four. Type in C. Hopefully the machine's back up. C dollar, by the way, that's the administrative share. I could go to E dollar, F dollar, whatever particular drives you have in that machine. But in my case, I just want to get to C. Bingo, there it is. Uh, I didn't even have to enter credentials. And the reason I didn't have to enter credentials was because I signed in on this PC with an administrator account that's on the, the that also applies to Theater 4. So it just took my credentials, and passed them right through. If you still have problems, what you probably want to do is take a look at your uh, credential manager because you might have something stored in there. So just click start on the on the computer that you're working on. Uh, not the remote computer, not the one that was having the remote uh, access problems, but the one you're 
that you're connecting from. And uh, let's go to Credential Manager. And in here, click on Windows Credentials. And if you see uh, the computer name listed here, uh, you're probably gonna wanna go in and either remove it uh, like this, or you are going to want to um, modify it so that it's got the correct password and the correct path. The easiest thing to do is just remove it. Okay, that's it. If you have any questions or concerns, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.